If you were talking on your cell phone, would you see this clown? According to a Western Washington University study, most students surveyed did not. The study, conducted by Dr. Ira Hyman and his senior seminar psychology class, was an attempt to study the effects of inattentional blindness. The results of the study show that while only a quarter of cell phone users noticed the unicycling clown in Red Square, half of the individuals not using their cell phones and a contrasting 75% of students walking in pairs did take notice. Kind of historically, a lot of the studies that have to do with inattention blindness have used a novel stimuli like that. Um, you know, someone dressed up in an animal suit or something like that. And we were kind of joking around about what we could do, you know, can we get like a bear or something like that on Red Square. And, um, the student was like, oh, I have a unicycle and I have a clown suit. And then somehow, like a couple weeks later, we were standing out on Red Square with a guy unicycling around with a clown suit. So. Well, for me, there, there are two really important aspects of the findings here. One is just how bad cell phones make you. Um, even on something as simple as walking, cell phones disrupt it, that you're substantially uh, slower, you change directions more, you weave more, you're just not able to, to get there. Um, you're also less likely to notice important stimuli. In a car, it's even worse. Uh, because there are other cars, there are <laughs> unicyclists out there, there are pedestrians out there. Um, you, you need to be aware of these things. The other thing that's really interesting here is that people think they're doing fine. They get across Red Square and you ask them if they see anything unusual and they, they don't say, no, I don't think so. And then you say, did you see a unicycling clown? And they're surprised that they could have missed it. Um, I noticed the signs and the people uh, for, um, for, I guess it's like AS. Uh, and I noticed the give blood umbrella. I noticed the blood truck. Okay. Oh, I was on my phone, wasn't I? Is that part of it? Yeah. No, I did not notice anything usual on the campus. Um, no. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Um, I think our results are particularly telling um, about how dangerous it could be to talk on a cell phone while driving. Driving, most of us have been doing since we were, you know, 16, maybe 15 and a half. Um, walking, I would say the majority of us have been practicing since we were like one. And yet, even with an activity so practiced and so familiar, people still had their performance affected by talking on the cell phone. Um, I figure now that if a conversation is important enough, that I need to answer it while I'm driving, it's important enough to pull over for. Kira McKenzie understands the dangers of talking on a phone while driving. Drivers who use cell phones in the car are four times more likely to crash and have been shown to be as impaired as drunk drivers. Hopefully, studies producing such irrefutable evidence will convince people that when they're on the road, they should leave their phone alone.